Evans. At least 10 people have been killed in Marsabit County following what has been termed as clan clashes in the county. Three of those killed were children. KTN News crime and investigation editor Hussein Mohammed now reports on the communal warfare. It is not the first time that these two communities with a cultural tie have been stained with scars of enmity and violence. Tuesday night attack of Hadaza Jaldesa and Kukuto in Masabit County continued to paint a grim picture of a dark past and elusive unity between the Borana and Gabra communities. The situation is tense, but officers are all over. Residents tell KTN News that the bodies of the locals were found scattered at least 100 meters of each other in the bush. Three children were among the dead. Two of them were 14 years and a 10-year-old. Two police officers from Jaldesa police station who were responding to a distress call were also killed. The attack comes in the wake of a similar one a few days ago when school-going children who were heading home after the examinations were injured in Bubisa. This, all, all these are revenge attacks. Okay. So we, we, we need to remove that mentality of revenge. An eye for an eye is an old mentality that we cannot allow in the 21st century. We have a lot of orphan children, widows. This has contributed to poverty in our area for a long period of time. And this is happening very frequently. The early part of this year we have been experiencing this kind of thing since last year. Then now it's recurring. It shows that uh, the government has not learned any lessons security-wise. Mine is to urge, because last time it started like this, nothing was done, a lot of life was lost. We cannot keep on crying every other day. We cannot keep on barring people months after months. When we enjoy some relative peace, a few weeks, then here again, you know? So we are tired, really. If the government does not take decisive action, we are going to lose that part of the country. Back in the capital city, a meeting was convened by Marsabit leaders who are now asking the national government to intervene to end what has been termed as an unpredictable and delicate environment. If it is me as a governor who is, has to be held responsible, somebody has to be held responsible. Rather than innocent people dying every other day. Too much. We are fed up. Masabit County has been bubbling. The longing thirst for peace and prosperity often drowning in drought and poverty as mothers and children continue running away from bullet ridden homes. The last few months, pocket of attacks were reported. Who will patch the pieces back in Masabit? Usain Mohammed, KTN News.